Four E or Iceman Twenty Three Eighty Three. If you are on Archery Talk, um, some of you may know, some of you may not know. I'm going to be going on my first ever bear hunt in like a month from now. So hopefully there will be a, another video of me killing one um, around that time. I was talking to the guide on the phone and. Um, he recommends, yeah, and I'm going to be hunting them from the ground, too. Um, super excited about that. Uh, he recommends that so that you bring shooting sticks. Okay. Now, you guys know me. I like to budget things out. So, I was looking around for a set of shooting sticks, and every single set that I found was 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I mean, they're, they're up there, too. Um, even the monopods are like 15, 20 bucks. Um, so I set out to make my own, which is what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. Uh, I saw a set on some website and the set was, they were pretty simple looking too. It was, you know, wooden stakes, probably about, you know, five feet high or so. Uh, they had like, uh, like a cushion grip and um, like they were probably 45 50 bucks so um, the materials that I bought today I spent four. so four bucks for shooting steak that you made and you could save you know that 36 46 dollars that you save making your own you know towards you know whatever else. So uh, the things I got today, I got uh, these two little five foot stakes. Um, they are garden stakes, okay, but they're pretty, they're pretty uh, stiff. Uh, these were um, 89 cents a piece or 99 cents a piece. Uh, I also got a piece of tubing all right, just regular little plastic plumbing tubing. This was 14 cents. Um, and you gotta make sure that this tubing will fit over top of those stakes. Okay, and I'll show you what those are for. Uh, I also got, I wasn't sure how I would attach them together, so I got a couple of different options, and we'll see if we can do all of them. I got a uh, cotter pin, okay, which my plan, was to cross these sticks and use this cotter pin to go through the center and bend it over. Okay, it's one option. Another option is going with uh, actual hardware and getting like a, um, a bolt, okay, that I would do the same thing, cross these sticks and have the bolt go through. Oh, crap, that's a big B. Get out of here! I don't like bees. Okay, so we're gonna close that window. Now that I don't like bees, for all you bee lovers out there, I don't like the sting, okay? couple different ways to attach these together um, and the third way I got was this little figure eight ring okay it's not as secure as the other ways but you may find that this way just sliding it down and using it like so okay is easier for you now I also like these real big carabiners okay I got two of these you don't have to get these um, I got them because I like the idea of using this um, piece of, I don't know, insulation or whatever to actually use as like handles. Okay, that was a lot harder than previously anticipated, but now that we are uh, 
rocking and rolling here. Let's see if they fit. That's pretty good. That's actually a pretty good fit right there. It's pretty it's decent. What I might do at, uh, at the end too is just glue them in there so that they stay put. Now what we're going to do is you take this tube slide it over one end probably about an inch down okay and then what you're going to want to do is holding on to the other one just kind of match them up and bend it in the center so you're going to see sort of what it's going to look like just like that okay so this is what it looks like you got your two stakes, you got your tubing, your little insulation wraps, and um, then what I'm going to do is slide these up just because it'll make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so then you find your intersection point. Will be probably about right in there. Okay. Now at this point, for those of you who are using this little uh, figure eight thing, you're done. Really. Me, I'm gonna go with something a little more, a uh, little more substantial, and actually, um, I might use this cotter pen. Go right in the center of that. We'll see. We'll uh, come back to this here in a minute. Okay, the ones I actually got seem to have a uh, steel core, but I was able to drill through them pretty easily. I'm going to take this cotter pin now and line up these holes. And the only reason I chose to use the cotter pin is the cotter pin is the same diameter as the, uh, the bolt from earlier. So if I don't like the way the cotter pin turns out, then I'm going to go with the bolt. great things about these is not only did it cost four dollars to make and they're rock solid but you can adjust them if you plan on you know hunting from a chair from the ground um, if you're like one of the guys like my dad is where he's more of a still hunter than anything else who walks around and um, sometimes you may not find a tree or a a brush to give you a solid shooting rest. These things come in very, very handy. Um, if you want it to go higher, you just pull the legs together, it goes a little bit higher. Lower is exactly the opposite. But um, yeah, it's, it's rock solid. So it's up to you. You spend 45 bucks on shooting sticks from a big name store or you can uh, take a trip to your local hardware store and spend four bucks on uh, parts. <laughs>